This video shows you how to set up the new Alarm.com ADC-SWV100 smart water valve. So in the box, there, there are four things. First, you have the ball valve. This is a one inch ball valve that is threaded on both ends. Any plumber should be able to install this in about one to two hours. Next, you have the actuator. So this connects to the ball valve and will actually turn it shut when an, a wire leak is detected or when you tell it to. Next, you have the control mechanism. So this has buttons to open and close the ball valve and it also has the Z-Wave pairing function you know, right here. And finally, you have the power supply. So this plugs into a standard AC outlet and then it connects into the control mechanism. So the way this works is you connect the, the ball valve to the actuator. So this is slotted. So this goes in a certain way so it lines up. Then you click it together. Next, you connect this end to this end of the control mechanism. The pins line up a certain way and then you could just screw it shut like this. Finally, you connect the power supply. So for this, you connect the power cable into the control mechanism here and rotate it. So it has a little key here that fits in a certain way and then you rotate it so it's tight. So now, as you can see, the light is on indicating that power is on and the valve is open. So if I wanted to pair this to my Z-Wave network, I would take my modem and I press the pairing function. So in this case, it's a single push to the link button. It will slowly flash green. And then I press the Z-Wave button here on the side. And when I press that, it will start beeping faster. And that final beep indicates a successful pairing. In about four to five minutes, this water valve will now show up in your ePropertyCare Care smart home system. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, please log on to ePropertyCare.com and check out our support mechanism there. Thank you very much.